always love a really good controversy, and this one doesn't disappoint. Hey there everyone, it's RevKev here. Hope you're having an amazing day today. So let's dive into my review of issue number one of Second Coming, published by Ahoy Comics. If this title sounds familiar, it's because a few months ago, there was a lot of controversy over the new six-part miniseries that was, is written by Mark Russell and drawn by Richard Pace that was going to be published by DC Comics. And it created a lot of controversy because it's the story of Jesus Christ. It's the story of Jesus Christ returning to Earth and learning from another superhero, kind of a Superman ripoff <laughs> named Sunstar, and how Jesus had to kind of come face to face with this, re with this humanity that's very different than what humanity looked like 2,000 years ago when he came the first time. So, create a lot of controversy. Whenever you hit on these big religious figures like this, you know it's going to create controversy. But again, as a pastor, I think these controversies are important to have. I think they open great dialogue and great opportunities to wrestle with questions of the faith and to teach and to learn how we can speak to a culture that may not understand things of the faith. So I, for one, I gravitate towards these types of controversies because I find them a great tool to discuss. But I don't want to talk about the controversy, I want to talk about the comic book itself. Is it worth your money? Is it any good? So let's talk about that. First off, I just want to talk about the art. I want to talk about uh, Richard Pace and his artwork. I'm not familiar with his work from other things. From what I've seen online, he does predominantly kind of horror independent stuff, which isn't really what I'm into. I'm more of a traditional Superman kind of guy. I like my blue, red cape, Boy Scout saving the day. Um, but uh, Pace's art is really good. I, I, I like it, and I actually fit, uh, feel it fits the theme that the, the writer, uh, Mark Russell, is getting at in this book. He kind of moves from, you know, when he goes into, like, you know, the past, it gets a little bit darker, a little grittier. And then when it's in the present with the superhero, it kind of looks more like it's brighter, the lines are clearer. So I think he does a really good job in, in the artwork and the style of it. So uh, definitely uh, a couple of thumbs up in the art of, of the book. Now when it comes to the story itself, um, again, apart from the controversy of the story, the story is um, fine. It, it, it's... Only the first issue, so I'm looking forward to seeing where the series goes, if it does just stick to six issues or if it's going to be longer. Um, it's kind of setting up the premise of this whole notion of Jesus Christ coming to Earth and following a Superman-type superhero to learn from him and to see how um, he can save humanity the way this superhero saves humanity. Now there's a lot of tongue-in-cheek stuff happening in here where the superhero kind of comes in, beats everyone up, throws them through walls, and they're all wounded and dying, and then Jesus shows up and heals all of them, and the superhero is furious with Jesus, going, why would you do this? Because I just beat them up. And Jesus is like, well, because I love them, and they should be healed. Um, so there's some good themes in there, just this tension between kind of the, the whole anti-hero that we're used to now in modern-day comic books, with someone who's ultimately trying to be good and to love their enemies. Now, I do, because I'm a pastor and I'm a big theology nut, I do have to talk about some of the theology of the book. Um, it's terrible. <laughs> but I don't go into these things looking for good, sound theology. If you are the type of Christian or the type of religious person that feels like you have to defend God's honor at all times, you will despise this book. Don't buy it. Just stay away from it. But again, because I'm a little bit of a geek, I, I, I nitpick these type of things. I'm right in the very first panel. And you get the timeline completely wrong, where you say, like, 2,000 years ago, God created. It's like, ah, even like the young earth. You know, theory-type Christians don't believe it was 2,000 years ago. Jesus came 2,000 years ago. Moses was like five, 6,000 years ago. And the time before that, we're talking 10,000 years if you're a young earth person. If you don't know what that means, don't worry about it. This is just me geeking out. Okay? 
And so there's a lot of little things like that that just mess up. Uh, the portrayal of God the Father is completely outside of what you would find in any kind of interpretation of the Bible. Uh, the fact that he's in a human form, uh, the fact that he's just angry and bitter and judgmental and, and, and all those kind of things does not fit the heart of God. Now, I know some people want to say Old Testament, New Testament. There is that divide. That's a video for another time in a different channel. <laughs> But uh, the grace of God is all throughout the Old Testament, and it is there. Um, and so the, kind of that Trinity side of God is not represented well. And ultimately, at the end of the, you know, the, the first issue, where Jesus says, well, the way humanity is saved is just by being nice to one another, um, which is a beautiful message, but is obviously not the Christian message. It is not the message of the Bible. Um, it, that portrays a message that we create the God that we want, we can do whatever we want as long as we're nice to each other. And um, that's not the message of Jesus. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Uh, it's a very different message, right? His death on the cross portrayed in the comic book um, doesn't fit why he died. But it's still a very fascinating and interesting conversation. And I think it's, it's a comic series, especially if you're into, into independent comic books. I think it's a is well worth picking up and having the conversation. So out of a five-star rating, I am going to give the first issue of Second Coming a 3.5. Um, good art. Okay story, sets up a good premise. The, the nitpicker in me was bothered by some of the details, and I tried to let it go. Um, but I think it's definitely a great comic book that's worth picking up, and I'm looking forward to seeing where it goes. If you had a chance to read this issue, I would love to know your feedback of it. Please share that in the comment section below. And as always, thank you so much to those of you who like and subscribe to the channel. It means the world to me. And it's just great to have you a part of the community here. So until the next video, this is Rev Kev here. Just saying God bless you. And just have a wonderful, amazing day.